I heard the name Maverick three different times. I Well, actually, it was more than that, but I heard it for about two weeks, right? And on three different occasions, I said, okay, I stopped. And I thought the Lord maybe was calling me ma like a Maverick or something like that. That's not what he was saying. And I didn't understand. So I stopped and I prayed. And I said, uh, I just prayed in tongues. I started going off. Da -da 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 -da. I feel... I sense in the spirit, it's like movement and stuff that I can sense. It's a gifting, uh, you know, it's in scripture. Each of these three times, something big happened. It was when I was in Missouri. When we were packing up to leave Missouri, I go into this uh, hitch shop. I needed a, a ball hitch on my truck. Um, the, whoever the guy sold the truck to the dealership, he took the ball hitch out, which is just totally ridiculous, but whatever. I go into this hitch shop. And I'm talking to this girl. She's 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 kind of sassy. She's like a young. She's probably 25 years old. She's a country girl from like Missouri. You know, she got her 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 work cowboy boots on and stuff like that. And she kind of got a little attitude. I liked her. You know, I like I like people like that. And I'm talking to her. We're carrying on and stuff like that. She's got her son there. And her son was the same age as my my daughter. And she's like, oh, yeah, a little. And she's like, yeah, can you say hi, Maverick? And I was like, whoa, I stopped, you know. And I was like, I I stopped, like, in my tracks. And then she kept talking, and I'm, like, weirded out. And I'm like, let me ask you something. And she's like, yeah, what? What's been going on with Maverick? I said, the Lord has stopped me on three different occasions. And pr I prayed in tongues, and I felt something big go on. Like, what's going on with this little guy? Like, what's happening? She, like, she's tough, man, like a tough country chick, and she, like, started, like, welling up a little bit. She's like, well, how do you know this? What's going on? I'm like, this, this is what's going on. Like, what what happened? What's going on? That little baby's heart stopped three different times, and he was, he was done. His heart was stopped. And on each one of those three occasions, the Lord had stopped me to pray in tongues, and the kid came back. Uh, man, I got chills on my arms. He was the same age as my daughter, and this mama was fighting for her son. She didn't even know that the Lord had sent a prophet that she never even met before, who just being obedient in his basement is, uh, you know, going through hell. Her, uh, I mean, I was dying, like, when this stuff was going on, but I was being obedient, and I was praying, and her son, each three of those times, his little heart stopped. The Lord came and gave him a, a, a defibrillator. Okay, guys, I don't care where you're at. I don't care what you're doing. If you feel like you're not being productive, you better be productive. Stop making excuses. Get off your bed and walk. Okay, that's what the Lord says. Take up your bed and walk. Enough is enough. Rise. You have a purpose. You have a point. If if, if all you can do is sit and pray in tongues, and then that's what you need to be doing and making yourself a maximum service to the Lord because you don't know if there's some little maverick that's, that's that's there that you've never even met before that needs your prayers that needs your prayer support god bless you guys have a good day